Hi, Mitch here, and welcome to the Museum of Sonic Life Forms. This is a quick follow up video to my previous videos where I showcased the basic setup for my procedural music system. And I just wanted to show you guys what I'm working on right now, some extensions to the system. So let's jump right into it. So there's some basic blueprints involved here. The Sonic Life Form Master. That's how I call it right now, which is the most important element of the whole system. There's actually something new. I made an extension to it. This is uh, basically the same as the master blueprint, uh, but it's syncing to the same clock and I don't have to set the BPM values and stuff like that again. All right. So this is basically the main uh, part of the whole system, but there's more. Now I included um, uh, blueprint for scenes so this is uh, invisible in the game level but uh, you can make some interesting settings here uh, this uh, scenes blueprint corresponds with the master of course so um, so you have to tell the blueprint which um, uh, master you are referring to here then you can define up to four scenes and each scene can be static which would mean that you really define four layers here uh, won't be audible at all and uh, layer five six seven and eight will be audible at all times so this is a static scene where you turn off these layers and turn on these layers if you switch that to dynamic you would still turn off the first four layers uh, but the layer five six seven and eight would take the randomizer probabilities from the master and uh, would still be procedural and not static so that is something you can choose and you can um, set up up to four scenes and for each scene you can activate the master filter and um, set the frequency and resonance and you can even set a modulation here so this is the scenes blueprint and of course the scenes blueprint um, works with uh, custom e events that would trigger the scene recalling so you can um, call them from any other blueprint you can uh, just uh, recall scenes from the game logic that uh, would be no problem at all so these are uh, scene triggers or uh, trigger boxes that I'm using here and just let me quickly select them here this is the trigger box here and um, on the trigger box you can uh, make a reference to the master uh, to the master blueprint here and uh, that would uh, sync the musical stingers to the master clock uh, you can enable it you can show the info widget would be just in, uh, in the gameplay and um, you can define the collision shape and the collision extents of course and here you can select uh, if you want unquantized special effects sounds so it would triggered immediately without quantization just to give the, an acoustical feedback that the trigger has been uh, activated and uh, also you could um, activate music uh, stingers that uh, would play with a quantization that you can set up here water note like uh, in this example or anything else you could choose here and for both the special effects sounds and the music stinger sounds you can define arrays of sounds that would, would be chosen randomly uh, when they are triggered okay what else is there uh, activation volumes which is uh, quite nice because if you want to use uh, more than one music system here uh, then it's important that you can switch off one music system and uh, hand it over to another music system not using too many resources there so only one music system is active at all times and that would be the uh, activation volume that uh, handles all that and i think did i forget something ah yeah this is pretty handy i uh, made a little debug tool here which is also invisible in the game but which gives me the possibility to um activate some debugging tools like information what layers are playing at the moment what layers uh, are not playing the randomizer weightings which scene has been recalled stuff like that and also debugging from the engine itself so it's, uh, just to take a look how many um, voices of sound are being used at the moment and i can even activate a click sound just to check if the tempo is right so enough of the talking let's jump right into the game and let's have a listen. 
So this is one of the sonic life forms with eight layers of music here. This is the basic setup from the master blueprint. And if I continue to listen here, it would never repeat itself. There are so many variations that I have new variations all the time. And uh, the debug tool you can show it here. Uh, with I, I, you can assign the keys that you want to use. I have signed Q for the debugging, the standard debugging, showing that even if we have eight layers of sounds, thanks to meta sounds, it's still only one voice. Okay. And uh, the other debug tool would be with the letter I giving me information about all the layers here, chances, true, false, and the name of the, of the music asset, and uh, a bar count at the top. And if I'm triggering some scenes here, let's take a look at that. For instance, like, um, well, let's choose like minimalistic, which really, really uh, reduces the arrangement. This is a dynamic scene, so it will still be procedural, but with complete different settings for the master. And the music slowly morphs into the new scene. very minimalistic and uh, I can activate any other scene like the rhythm focused here and it will slowly morph into a more rhythm focused arrangement the more rhythmic rhythmical parts of the arrangement will show up by time Or I could go back to the master settings that we started with and we'll morph into that again. And this is also a new tool. Um, this is to showcase that any kind of game parameter uh, could actually control the randomizer settings for this uh, music system here. So like I had to have a little fader here and uh, if it's more in position A, the whole um, arrangement will be more atmospheric and if I slide it over to the right side to the uh, B position, it will be more uh, a rhythmic uh, arrangement. Let's have a, l a listen. So this is almost all the way to setting B. And you can hear doesn't mean that there are no atmospheric elements but they will become fewer and fewer of them and it will slowly morph into a real uh, rhythmic arrangement as you hear now and if I do the opposite let's do the extreme setting to E and it will morph to a really atmospheric arrangement Okay, let's go to another room. Here you, you will see, I will also activate the debugging here. Uh, at the moment we are only using uh, one sound voice and um, it will switch to the other music system. Now two of the music systems are active because the other one is still fading out and now the clock is set to the new BPM. The new Sonic Life form has been enabled and as you see it's again only one uh, sound voice here and we have the new Sonic Life form activated with the same features here uh, with the master and some scenes that can be triggered here like 
Here, spooky, for instance. Um. Only the spooky elements are active now. And if I want to go to some drums only arrangement, the drums will start, everything else will eventually go away. And the transition times for that kind of mor uh, morphing, they are set in the master. How quickly the randomizers are triggered. Here, next room. Very different musical mood. This is the default setting. We go to atmospheric here. We need something for a speed part of the game that will activate all the really speed parts of the arrangement. But all these scenes, I set them to dynamic so they will still be procedural. Uh, if we stay here and wait, it will always change over time. The last room, quickly. Some kind of underwater scene. I used that in another video before. Just extended it with the scenes. And maybe I can showcase something here. Where is it? Ah, oh, yeah, the, like the into the abyss thing. Um, the scene also triggers the master filter. Oh, so everything is filtered down. And if I recall another scene with this trigger, for instance, the master filter goes away and the randomizers are reset corresponding to the scene settings here. Okay, so this was this was um, a quick walkthrough on what I'm working at at the moment. Um, so if anything new comes up, I will post a new, new video. I keep working on that system until I'm really satisfied with it, but I think um, uh, it's pretty cool at the moment and I hope you like it too. Um, leave me your comments and uh, maybe you have some ideas what I could implement. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.